up you guys it's Shemaine here and welcome back to my channel here at cake up and curls you guys I am back I'm back I'm back with another video I know it has been a few weeks since I've uploaded but I have a good 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 perfectly good explanation for that so just a little life update uh, my husband and I took a week's vacation to LA and it was much needed like right after we got married which was last October we didn't quite get a chance to go on a honeymoon we just pretty much got right back to work um, you know about a week or so later um, a little bit sooner for me so we really didn't get a chance to go on a honeymoon or anything like that so um, we just went to LA we had some things pre-planned already to go and it was so so needed this we're actually gonna do like an official honeymoon like in October uh, again when that comes up this year but we just took this opportunity to go to LA and enjoy each other kind of like a honeymoon part one um, just get some time to spend together enjoy each other and enjoy everything that LA has to offer and you guys let me tell you we absolutely had a blast like oh my gosh we had so so much fun so as we came back home of course naturally we just had to adjust back into life um per usual work and all that stuff we do not have children so that was an adjustment but shortly after coming home as well um you know i you know have been dealing with some things that's kind of directly been affecting my health so um, that's another thing too I am just now going to be focusing a little bit more on just like my overall health with my body and just taking care of myself more you know on this channel I talk so so much about like your um, overall health of your hair and you know things of that nature but the reality of it is you know we oftentimes neglect um, you know our health within our own body so I am going to be focusing a lot on that um, moving forward you know a lot of things are changing in my life and you know it's only gonna get better so that is just a very short life update for me but you guys I am back with this video today um, and for this video actually it is as you can see by the title is going to be a full face a full face glam with nothing but drugstore products so the biggest question that I get um, or questions that I get when um, you know I post my videos are people asking what are some good alternatives you know more affordable alternatives for foundation or for this type of product or that product so um, for this video today I have nothing but drugstore products that I have used on my face um, but if you guys want to see how I achieve this look right here, very natural look, natural glam, I would say. You know, it does, I did add a little bit more. Um, so it might not be natural for some people, but um, yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this look, please do all All right, you guys, so starting off with primer, I am taking my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I actually picked this up at my local Target. It does retail for $5.69. Um, in my opinion, probably one of the best primaries that um, I that are out there right now in the drugstore. One of my most favorite. Um, so I'm just using that um, in the center of my face mostly where I get uh, the most oily. And as you can see, I already have my brows done. Um, so for the brows, I use my um, NYX brow gel. And I do have to use that with an angle brush to apply. The brow gel I already have, but you can pick that up at Target or Walmart. Um, it does retail for about $4.89. But another alternative for brows, if you want to use a pencil, would be this NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Um, that retails for $9.99 at Target. You may be able to find it a little bit cheaper. And then to set my brows, I do use that e.l.f. Um, brow and Lash Gel. And that is just 2 bucks, you guys. You cannot beat that. So for concealer and correcting, I am using the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer and Corrector. And that you can actually just pick up at your local beauty supply store. Um, I believe it retails for about $4.89 at those stores. you can, you, Like I said, you may be able to find it a little bit cheaper. Um, so here I am just correcting some of the dark um, areas on my face, which are underneath my eyes around my nose and some areas on my chin and cheeks um, I have just been 
lacking sleep lately so I'm gonna correct a little bit um, you can totally skip this step if you don't find it necessary I'm just correcting just a little bit um, because I do have um, or in my personal opinion I have um, some dark circles to correct so I am just using that Now, if you are choosing to correct, I would suggest taking some translucent powder and just setting in those places that you put that corrector just so that it does not move underneath your foundation. Um, and speaking of foundation, obviously, I'm going to go into foundation next. You guys, my most favorite drugstore foundation is this foundation right here, the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Um, today, I'm going to be using the Dewy and Smooth formula. They do also have a matte uh, poreless formula as well, um, but I prefer this one. Um, I did get two shades. I wasn't quite sure which one was going to be my match. It does retail at Target for $5.89. Um, so, I mean, it's definitely within a really, really good price range. I love the finish of it. Uh, so I ended up using the shade uh, 315 Soft Honey. And here I am just taking a flat uh, Kabuki brush by Morphe. And I am just, um, you know, blending that into the skin. Again, I love this finish. It is not too dewy, um, not too oily on the skin. It doesn't make my skin feel oily at all. Um, so I'm just blending that in. I'm dragging that down to my neck. And then um, I did actually take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And uh, just a FYI, this is probably one of my most favorite beauty sponges. Um, this retails for $4.89 at Target. Um, so I'm just kind of tapping over my skin to get any excess uh, foundation off. Here I am going back in with the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I did use the shade um, medium beige to conceal underneath my eyes and like the highest points that I do want to conceal. So I'm just taking this um, again. You can get this at your beauty supply store, your local beauty supply store. They mostly have them all. Um, so I am just concealing here. Okay, so moving on to contouring, I am taking my Wet n Wild Contour Stick. This is in the shade Call Me Maple. And this actually retails for $3.89, you guys. I love this contour stick. Um, I don't cream contour too, too often, but um, when I do, I reach for this. Um, I love how affordable it is. Um, you know, the product is very creamy. It's easy to blend. So here you just will see me um, contouring my nose, um, my chin area, and my forehead. And then I'm going to be going back in with that Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. That beauty sponge is damp and I'm just going to be blending out that cream contour. Um, so that's just what you see me doing here. Again, this cream contour, if you are choosing to cream contour at all, um, is a really, really good affordable option and it just blends out really, really well. As you can see here, I'm not having very many problems at all blending out that cream contour with that damp beauty blender um, or that Real Techniques beauty sponge. So here I am just blending all of that out. All right, so moving on to setting powder. Today I am taking my Aerospun Loose Face Powder. And um, I actually picked this up at Walgreens. It does retail at Walgreens for $7.49. Um, I think that this is definitely a good alternative. Typically I am using the Laura Mercier setting powder, which I love, um, or the Ben Nye Banana Powder. But today, just for drugstore purposes, um, I picked this up at Walmart again. Um, I am using just the shade translucent, but I believe that they do have other shades um, as well out there. So here I am just setting um, underneath my eyes pretty much everywhere um, I put 
that concealer and underneath my cream contour as well all right so moving on to uh contouring to set that cream contour i am taking my kiss professional um, contour kit um, I actually got this from a local local beauty supply store um, and it does retail for $11 um, another alternative for any um, just powder press contour kit is going to be the black radiance contour kit um, I also have that as well I got that from Target that retails for $7.99 um, so they have good color range with that also so I definitely would recommend that as well and here you actually just see me taking a fluffy brush a face brush and I'm just dusting away all of that translucent powder that I did um, have on my face um, and that's just what I'm doing here and then I'm also going over uh, with that same um, contour kit from Kiss Professionals and I am just contouring my nose a little bit as well now to set my um, foundation instead of using my fix plus by Mac I'm taking this pixie glow mist um, this is also infused with argan oil I love how it makes my skin feel so I just use that that retails for $15 at Target um, and for the eyes, I'm using the Ultimate Warm Natural NYX Professionals palette. Um, I actually got this also at Target um, for $17.99. This actually was the most expensive thing that I actually um, am using for this look. So um, it's most expensive, but it's definitely a good product. The color payoff is great, as you can see. So I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush um, using that brown shade that I did um, show you guys. And I'm just building that up as my transition shade. Always start with a transition shade. It just helps blend or, um, you know, allow all of your colors to blend together. So I'm just building that up to my liking. And then, as always, I always sweep that underneath my eye just to kind of bring it all together. So that's what you'll be seeing me do here. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed. So here I am typing into that burnt orange shade and I'm actually placing that right underneath of the transition shade that I put on my lid. Um, so I'm taking a more taper blending brush and I am blending that back and forth in windshield wiper motions. And as you can see, I'm actually just flicking that out on the outer V part of my eye and that just kind of helps elongate the eye as well. And as you guys already know, I'm just sweeping that on the bottom lash line just to kind of pull it all together. Um, so that is actually what you just see me doing here. Again, you just want to place it a little bit lower than you put your transition shade. And then um, I did tap into that deeper um, shade. It actually looks a little maroon on camera, but um, it's kind of like a deeper brown shade. So um, I went in with a little bit more of a stiffer blending brush. And I started just packing that onto the outer V. So you just want to start by packing the color. And then um, I am just blending that in. So as you can see, I went a little bit lower than that previous shade. I'm directly in the eye socket um, or your eye crease, I apologize. Um, I'm packing that in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out using circular motions and windshield wiper motions as well. Just going back and forth. So you can build that up to your liking. Um, as you can see here, I'm tapping back into that palette, going all the way in, blending that out using those circular and one show wiper motions to my liking as well. All right, so going back into that same palette, I'm taking a stiff synthetic brush and I am tapping into that gold shade and I am focusing that shade primarily on the center of the eyelid and I'm not taking that shade too too close into the inner corner of my eye or on the outer V I am just placing that directly in the center and then I'm actually going to be taking that same palette and going in with the lighter shade it's like a lighter pearl color um, just to add a little bit more dimension to that color um, so I'm just doing that here and then I'll also take a fluffy blending brush and just blend that out as well if I need to um, but once I have finished both eyes, I'm taking my Holy Grail <laughs> mascara that I have been loving lately, which is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Coating My Lashes. Um, that retails at Target for $7.39. Um, I really, really love this mascara. It gives, you know, my 
lashes coated really good before I go in with lashes and um, I have used these lashes plenty of times my uh, most favorite lashes from the drugstore is going to be the Ardell Wispies or the Demi Wispies you'll see those coming up here next um, I like at Target they obviously sell like the multi pack or the single pack depending on what you prefer the multi pack I believe retails for like $11.99 at Target and then the single packs uh, do retail for about $3.89 for just one pair. Um, so here I am struggling, as you can see, to get those lashes on, but I swear I get them on and in place. So after the struggle with those lashes guys I am taking this NYX Wonder Pencil and this is in the shade medium and I am lining both water lines with that pencil. The pencil does retail for surprise surprise target again um, for $3.09 and once I have uh, lined my water line I go back in with that L'Oreal telescopic mascara and just applying a couple of coats of mascara on um, my bottom lashes. So you guys, I must admit, I do not have a blush, a drugstore blush at that. So what I actually did was I grabbed the contour kit by Kiss Professionals. And I actually just used that for a blush. I wanted to kind of keep it all on the natural scale anyway. So I just lightly added a little bit more of that medium brown shade as my blush. And you guys, this right here, this Master Chrome by Maybelline Highlighter, I absolutely love, love, love. Like, I have a ton of highlighters, but this is definitely one of my favorite highlighters um, from L'Oreal. And, um, of course, I grabbed this from Target for, I'm sorry, for $7.89. One of my favorite highlighters. The color payoff is amazing, you guys. Um, it's just the perfect gold. I absolutely love it. So here I am just taking a highlighter brush brush and applying this to the highest points of my cheekbones, um, my cupid's bow, as well as my nose. All right, so after I have drowned myself in highlighter, I'm taking this liquid liner. Um, this liquid liner is by the company NYC. They actually used to sell this brand in um, my local Target. Unfortunately, they no longer sell this brand at all in stores, which I'm so bummed about because this is probably one of my most favorite liquid liners. But you guys, any liquid liner would do. Actually, all I'm doing is lining my top eyelid um, just to cover that lash band. So I'm not doing a thick line at all. I just wanted to cover that band that I have. And then last but not least, I am taking the NYC Lingerie um, Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Lipley. I believe that is the pronunciation. This retailed at uh, Target, I believe, for about $6.99, $7 or so. 
Um, so I didn't line my lips at all with any type of liner. I am just going right in with that liquid lipstick. I absolutely love this shade. Um, it's not too dark, not too, too light. And then um, obviously you have to finish all of that up with setting that. So I am going back in with that Pixie Glow Mist um that i picked up at target and i am just setting my face so that is it you guys don't forget to make sure them edges is on fleek because i was absolutely going nowhere but that is it for this look i hope you guys enjoyed it this all drugstore makeup tutorial i am back you guys i have so many things in store so thank you guys for welcoming me back again life tends to get a hold of you but that is it for the video thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe show your girl some love and i will see you guys in my next video bye